to go down to the Boy Palace. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're heading to the world's only corn palace. I don't know Yeehaw. why there would be another corn palace in the world. It's very strange. It's definitely a Midwest thing. I would expect this to be in Idaho though. I mean Idaho, Iowa, not South Dakota. I guess there's corn out here in South Dakota too, but not like there was in Iowa. Well, from our research, they have their own corn farmer for this place. Yeah, there's so. a corn farmer who only grows corn for the Corn Palace. And it gets decorated every year. It was it multiple times a year or is it just once? I'm not sure. Well, they said in that video it was once a year, but. So we'll see what it looks it like now. Well. But it is always decorated. I think it gets decorated probably in the beginning of summer if it's only once because that's obviously like the busy tourism season here. There's like nothing here. We're kind of in the middle of Sioux Falls and Rapid City. So it's a stretch of 90 where there's nothing. There's some corn right now. Yeah, there is some corn right now, um, but there's nothing out here besides like a few roadside attractions. So we're also going to stop by Wall Drug and what was the other one? 1880 Town. And this one is the Corn Palace. So there's three like random weird roadside attractions out here in South Dakota. There's nothing out here. It's beautiful, yeah, but there's here. nothing out here. It's perfect. So they kind of need weird roadside attractions to look like. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Side note, I just wanted to say I'm filming this with an Insta360 X4. I love it. It is my absolute new favorite tool to use. I usually use my iPhone to video things. I know that's crazy, um, but I love drones and I love this Insta360 X4. It was just on this invisible selfie stick outside the window going 77 miles per hour. That's insane. Maybe, maybe not 77. We were going the speed limit. We're on the road that's 80. Right. Right. So I just want to mention a few things before we get there. We're about five minutes away. I think it's like 25 miles in between where we're staying, which is Hills RV Park. It's in Plankinton, right? That's what it was. Yeah, Plankinton. Plank <laughs> it's in Plankton, not actually, but South Dakota. Plankin. Plankinton. Plankinton. Yeah, South Dakota, and it's we found it on Passport America, which I've never used our membership before, and Zach was very annoyed at me when we got it because it seems like such a good deal it's like 25 or 30 dollars for 40 the year bucks that you okay 40 dollars for a year maybe Which it was is, a two year it's just 40 bucks but like it i knew it was a scam right off rip because you can't use it so i look at the as much as you want i look at the map of all the places that are on like the membership and they all say like one day maximum or two days maximum or you can't use it on the weekend there's so many crazy rules yeah. and so I was always thinking we would use it as like a one night stopover which it is good at this one this one actually has no day restrictions so you can use it whenever and instead of the original price being $60 it's $30 or $35 if you want sewer so $35 a night for like day of full hookups yeah that's decent it's actually decent yeah so that one's really cool and it's like 25 minutes from the corn palace which you're not going to stay here just to go to the corn palace but if well, you happen to be are. driving through south dakota <laughs> then it's super cool so we're in mitchell south dakota right now which is where the corn palace is and look dude the huge sign this must be the only thing here this is actually really funny i'm going to show you guys i sign. guess i'm so gonna take a you're left gonna take a left Corn Palace! So yeah, apparently everyone comes here for the Corn Palace because really, what else would you be here for? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's really cool. We're having a lot of fun. I think this is I can't wait. a cute little town. Maybe I love corn. Hopefully they're selling some. I'm going to show more of this town. I hope it's not too cool.
sounds like Bob Barker, isn't it? Bob Barker. The Corn Palace. You should have just parked right there. There are mad spots, yeah. Friends out to go to the Corn Palace. Let's go check it out. Got the big sign in front. Of course, you have to take a picture out here. Who is that, right? I don't know. I don't know. Bob Barker. So it looks like me. I don't know. Might the not. Price is Right is that the show? Right, right, right. Oh my gosh, they're actually so cool. Let's look at these pictures and then go and oh, you can see the lights on and the you outside. Can see that it's made of hay. Yeah, the straw. Some other stuff. What are those? Uh, Some kind of plant. Something good. This is so cool. Wow. Look, they got archery or axe throwing or something over there. They're so cool. Is that a gun in a holster? Yep, that's a wild west, honey. What's the next one? Looks like the first plane. Oh. Or World War II. <gasps> An like astronaut. Dude, they're so cool. The, that one, some faces. You can see there's different colors of corn too, and they said that it is not dyed. It's all Indian corn. Is it? Yeah, it's all Indian corn. It's not dyed. It's real. Look at those little flowers. A little house on the prairie. So cute. Look, you see them in the middle. Super cool. Yeah, I love. All right, let's go inside, Rike. Show me the way. It does look like the decorations held up very well. I wonder when they did them. Well, I saw a scissor lift over there, so maybe two, maybe a little recent. Oh yeah, you're right. I did see that machine. Just a little history about it. Should we read that? Sure. <laughs> All right. It says they've been doing this for a hundred years. Let's go. All right. <laughs> I'll watch the video. Pause to read. <laughs> we want to go inside. I don't really think it's there's much bright. inside. It's a little hot out too. I mean, we're wearing pants and long sleeves. I'm thinking this wasn't a good uh, option. Yeah, it is like at least 80, 85 out here. Look at the little corn stand across the street. You see it? Yeah. Free admission, free parking. 2024 famous South Dakotans. Nice. All right. So I want you to buy drinks and food inside. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. It does. Oh my God, corn. Get it, popcorn. What's in here, Reiki? Yeah. I don't really know what's right. in here. You have to take a picture. <laughs> corn Palace. All right, it says you have to act corny. Act corny. <laughs> Perfect. What else is there? Oh, did you see the tractor? They missed out. I think this is an event center. It looks like there were there was seating in there. Some dressed up people. And there's some history on that wall over there. Kick it in the gear, boy. I saw that there's a balcony upstairs, but I'm gonna walk over here first, see what else is downstairs. Some exhibits. Pressed pennies, we love those. We're gonna have to get one of those. Check out. There's a whole concession stand too. I don't know what I expected, but this is not what I expected. 
smells a very strong of popcorn in here. Oh, it looks like this is all just South Dakota history in general. Great Depression, Anniversary, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> oh, you can actually see it. Corn Brett Lowry is the product grower for this corn palace. We use 12 different colors or shades of corn. Brett was very enthusiastic. Rye, sour dock, and grasses are used in the trim work of the designs. So that's the other thing I was thinking of. This little plant must be rye. Grasses, the corn. It feels like, it feels like they put glue on it. Is that just what the corn is like or do they must be coating it with like epoxy or something. The murals outside the corn palace are redecorated every year. These nine, my, nine murals represent a new theme each year determined by the corn palace board. Mural designs are created by Dakota Wesleyan University digital market, digital media and design students. It takes approximately 250,000 ears of corn to complete the murals. Each ear is cut in half lengthwise and nailed in place on the mural. Mom, it costs. Can we get a oh. corn ball? Can we? Can yeah, we have to. Okay, come over here. All right, hold on. It costs approximately $150,000 to decorate the corn palace each year. Decorators use 60 acres of corn, 12 colors in total. In addition to corn, the palace is covered with over 10 acres of rye, sour dock, and other native grasses. Look, these are the 12 colors. That's actually really crazy. That green is so green. Do you see all the different colors? They use 12 different colors, right? That is quite intricate. $150,000. Look, the machine is still out there. So like, when are they doing it? They must be doing it now. Something must have fell down. Show me the corn ball. Okay. And did you see that? We have to get a pressed penny. Well, I'm getting a corn ball. <laughs> I did not get corn from the corn palace. Thank you. Specialty curious. and original popcorn balls. Dimop cheese. Wait, what? They have specialty balls? Yeah. That's a specialty ball for sure. Look at the size Can of it. Look at that. Can I know. we get it? It's kind of soft feeling. I thought yeah, popcorn yeah. balls were hard. No, okay, so there's, there's M&M, Snickers, Unicorn, Cookies and Cream, Fruity, Cinnamon Toast, Oh my goodness. Unicorn? Which corn ball are we getting? I'm I kind of like that m and &M. I like the... I don't want this one. That no, one looks like it's going to give me heartburn. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> definitely not a bright pink one. Yeah. I say we get the M&M's. M&M's or cookies and cream? M&M's. M&M's? All right, find the one with the most m and That one looks small compared to the other one. That dad picked up. Yeah, this one's so, Holy crap. But this one has more in it. It does, but that one might be hiding more in the center. It does look pretty full in there. You never know. This is a big <laughs> Alright, we are getting a corn ball. Anyway, this place is super cute. I'm gonna stop it right now while we buy this. Actually, I'm gonna go into the okay, wait in line and dad will buy it. This one. I'm gonna go into here just to see what it is because it looks like a stadium. There's like seating. Definitely a stadium and also maybe a stage. What is going on in here? There's like a real event going on. Did we just happen to come on like a crazy weird day? <laughs> because what is going on here? Definitely some kind of event going on. Some of the people are super dressed up. I don't know what it is usually in there, but. And then the other place we can go to is the balcony. Presenting at the Corn Palace live, the Corn Ball Eater Extraordinaire. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Wait, come here, show us. You have to show us. Let's see it. What's your review? 10. 10 out of 10. 
Very is aesthetic. it sweet? Is it salty? Sweet. Dad. Let me take a taste test. A huge bite! Hold on, my turn. What do you think? I never had a cornball. I always thought they were hard. This feels like kind of mushy. Like a Rice Krispie. Is that what it is? Rice Krispie made out of popcorn? That good or The corn is like... The popcorn. Peanut butter. The popcorn tastes like... Stale. Mm-hmm. That has to be. It doesn't taste stale, but it feels stale. Weird. Kids would like that for sure. I am not a fan. I'm gonna take another bite anyway, because it's all in the experience, right? All right, let's go upstairs. Do you actually like it? Yeah, I love it. That's what I was thinking they were. Thank you. The balcony of the corn palace. World. Only Corn Palace. <gasps> they are putting it up or they're taking it down. Are they replacing it? Half of this one is down. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Where? What do you mean where? Right there on the ground. Oops, sorry. Dad. That's crazy. I wonder if they're putting a new one on now. Well, there you have it. The Corn Palace in Mitchell, South Dakota. A little strange. Worth stopping by if you're in the area, but definitely not a like place to go as a destination. But I do like that this sign right here says free Corn Palace parking. You can park on any of these streets right here. And there's also RV camper parking to the left. Two free samples across the street at the Corn Palace store, whatever that is. We have to go there. Corn Palace gift shop, two free samples. Ask, I'm on my way. What are you getting a sample? Corn! Yeah, but it's not the corn. <laughs> All right, we just walked back in from the balcony and I noticed that these pictures and artifacts and museum things go, it looks like all the way around the building. Just random corn stuff. Oh, it looks like these are the pictures from every year. 1921, 29, 42, 48, 53, 56. Oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Very unusual. <laughs> kind of cool, kind of weird. There's the event again. And I think we're ready to go. We're doing the penny press. They're different on each. So which one do you want? This one. Oh yeah, the one right with the corn palace. Yeah. Can you help me put it up there? Yes. Nice. <laughs> that one is 51 cents and this one's a dollar. <laughs> What's the difference? Oh, this is a souvenir coin. It's a real coin. It's not a press penny. 
So it's the corn palace. It's a quarter press. Oh, it's a quarter press. And this one's a penny press. I just realized. Okay, well, we don't have a penny. Do you have a penny? We have to go get a penny now. All right, we asked the girl at the concession stand if we can have two pennies, and she gave us two pennies. That was very nice. Is that the one you want? Yes. It is? All right. And she gave us a super shiny penny, too. Those make the best ones. There you go. Nice. I'll put these ones in too, and then you find the one that you like. I won't push it in yet. Let me see the penny press. Corn Palace. Ooh, do the one with the heads, the Mount Rushmore. Keep going. All right, ready, stop. Stop, 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 stop. You passed it, so go around again. You're so silly. All right, but don't break it, go slow. Perfect, stop. Slow down, slow down. Mount Rushmore heads at the Corn Palace. Mount Rushmore is our next stop after this. Can you see them good? What, is it chipped? Yeah, they're kind of like pushed off the edge for some reason. Let me see. The press is a little off, it looks like, but that's okay. Super cute, we love press chipped? bunnies, don't we? Why is it chipped? It's not chipped, it's just like pressed too far to the that's side. Silly. It's okay, they're so cute. We just left the Corn Palace. It's behind us, we're going across the street to the Corn Palace gift shop. And I see it says two free samples. What do you think they have? Does that say wine? <gasps> free samples of wine? I thought they were giving free samples of corn. I was really excited for the corn sample. Me too. <laughs> Why am I disappointed that it's wine? That's right, so funny. Right, right. You have candy in your Mommy. Hand. Oh my goodness, look at this. I feel like I feel like at least one of us needs a corn palace sweater. Oh my goodness. It's corn! That kid needs to come here. Corn cob pipe. Where's the corn cob pipe? Oh, stop it. A corn cob pipe and a button nose. What is that? We need that for when we make snowmen! Oh, that's. Oh. Yeah, snowmen. And two eyes made out of coal. Corn. Anyway, if you love corn, this is the shop for you. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is the corn that you put in the microwave and it pops. Place ear in bag provided and microwave. It'll pop right on the cob. I think we should try one. Was that for popping? Yes, pick a color, any color. I didn't know you could, I did not know you could pop Indian corn. the darkest one. Let me this see. I've never had dark popcorn. Right. Why is that so fun? You, you put it in the bag and you microwave it. That's literally oh, come it. come on. We're doing it. No, I'm not Hunter? putting it in no bag. There's jams and jellies, raspberry rhubarb syrup. Mom, can we get this? Oh my goodness. What does it say? It says, my first Christmas and you were born on Christmas. Can we get it? Please. It's your sixth Christmas. Right. Can we get it? Actually, you're seven. Because <laughs> you were born on the first day. A one day old Christmas baby. Seven Ornaments. Christmas. You should get it. Oh. So cute. I don't think we're going to try the wine, but this is an adorable little shop. I love these. We're definitely getting this. 